Hey gang, hope everybody's having a spec spectacular day. It's kind of gray here. Not much sun to report. But I did find this last night. Uh, some of you saw it a couple weeks ago. I had, or actually last week, I had posted this unedited time lapse video that is produced by a script running on a Raspberry Pi computer. Now this script compiles an image. It downloads the image every 15 minutes and compiles the day's images every day, once per day, and creates a time-lapse movie and it adds each consecutive or each subsequent day onto the end of the movie and re-uploads normally every day. <coughs> now it had stopped uploading back in August, um, but I just got a notification that they had uploaded a brand new file. So now we have a file that runs from April 2017 all the way through to now October 9th is this file here. And there are some chunks that are missing out of it, but watching the entire file is certainly an eventful watch. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on here, and uh, I just wanted to show one little thing that has sort of made a bit of a bump in the news, but like usual, it gets brushed under the rug and it gets swept off to the side, but it is very important to us right now. It's very important information, and we should be paying close attention to this. Uh, in September, on the 21st, we had a two-way eclipse. Two-way eclipse, meaning it went back and then forward. See that? One way, the other way. Sorry, uh, September 9th, this happened. Now, NASA's official explanation for this was, it's the moon. So yeah, NASA's story, it's the moon. As we read here, because the moon does not have an atmosphere, when a lunar transit occurs, no light from the sun gets distorted, allowing for a distinct view of the moon's surface. Although it looks smooth from far away, the surface of the moon is rugged, sprinkled with craters, valleys, and mountains. Ooh, good story, NASA, good story. However, I have some conflicting data that would suggest otherwise. Now, if you'll look here, is it just a sampling? A few eclipse events that I managed to capture while in my travels, scrolling through endless piles of solar data. But what you see here is a soft, out of focus eclipse from an object far away from the sun because the sun is what this camera is focused on so the focal area the focal range of this camera is going to be a certain ways back a certain ways in front um, anything that's close to the sun will be in focus anything that's far from the sun will be out of focus such as we see here or here however this as well, whatever this is. <laughs> uh, soft, out of focus, eclipsing. Blurred edge. That's what we should see from the moon, a faraway object. Either the moon or the earth eclipsing. But we also have these very sharp eclipses, very in focus eclipses, objects that are very close to the sun and therefore in focus and judging by the looks here I mean this could be a little ways away from the Sun in between the earth and the Sun but whatever it is it's fucking huge it's bigger than our Sun I would say but again you wouldn't really be able to tell that without knowing the distance but 
it's closer to the sun than the earth and that's about all I can say as far as camera lenses go that's just the laws of light physics as we know them right soft eclipse soft eclipse sharp eclipse so why do we have these two different types of eclipses appearing in our satellite data from Earth watching the Sun what is this, this business that's what I want to know so when NASA claims that this is our moon transiting in front of the Sun two different directions within a couple of hours I call bullshit that's not the case and I think that if you take a look deep down inside your gut you'll feel the same this is a big fat lie and I am not a big fan of lies myself work to uncover the truth the truth God it's got to be the only thing that'll set us free because I mean what the heck's going on here there's shit transiting our Sun and nobody wants to own up to it uh, tell me astronomers haven't been watching this people are recording it with their goddamn cell phones now like somebody's got to speak up about this somebody from above because you know it's funny business and we shouldn't be tolerating it anyhow now you know much love check you later